Hey guys, welcome to Camping with Steve. I have good news. I found just a little bit of an acreage where I can come to film some videos about a half an hour from my home. Seven acres of beautiful unimproved wilderness and a lot of mosquitoes and I just have to pay the small price of a little bit of whiskey to come by here and I can film to my heart's content here. So big problem solved. No more camping in the backyard if I can avoid it. And from what I've seen so far, there's really great nature here. There's bird of prey overhead as I speak. There's woodpeckers that look like Woody right out of the cartoon. I've seen ducks, I've seen cow parsnip. There's everything here. So it's a really good, there's airplanes too. I think there's a small airfield close by. Little prop planes, but anyway, there may be some noise, but this is as best as I can get to nature when I live in a big city of like a million people. And it's a half an hour from home. So we're gonna look around the forest uh, find a good spot to set up and we're gonna set up a tent, cook a good meal, and uh, then rest for the night. How else could I put that? Uh, I don't know, I'll think of something. So uh, out here on the acreage there is just a huge plot of seven acres of land and I'm gonna go into it and find a spot to camp. Looks like there's a trail in here. It's uh, Pretty thick and wooded, but hopefully I'll find a clearing in there somewhere. And uh, off I go. Oh yeah, this is this is thick woods. Uh, supposedly up ahead there is a little bit of a clearing. So I'm gonna hike on for a bit. Oh yeah, look at all this. I can film a lot out here. The bugs are ferocious though. So uh, I'm gonna get uh, to the clearing as fast as possible because the bugs are just going insane. The clearing. This goes right down to the creek over there. So this is, uh, oh the mosquitoes are bad in there. So this is where uh, we're gonna start filming. We'll set up uh, over here somewhere. Right, there's a freshly cleared area here, right on a nice little creek. Goes on up there. And uh, this looks like the perfect spot to set up for the night, and I can't wait to do that because these bugs are horrible. And yeah, it's time to uh, put this tent up. So I called up the property owner and I said, this is nicely mowed, how did you get the mower down here? because I just stumbled through the bush for like half an hour to find this place. And he showed me a quick access off the side of the road. So that's how I'm bringing everything down. No more of that <laughs> bushwhacking through the mosquitoes. I picked up some of these windscreens that go on and they make it less of a screen tent into more of a tent tent. I tested them out in a bit of a thunderstorm last week and they worked out pretty good. So I gotta throw them on, precautionary measure, just in case the wind gets a little nasty, but I hope that won't happen. Okay, step one was setting the tent up. Step two is beer. So with the screen tent up, one of the secrets I've learned in life is that tent pegs suck. And uh, they bend, they're flimsy, or they're hard to get into the ground, or you hit a rock. 
and whatnot. So what I use is lag bolts and an impact. And I'm gonna put uh, a little bit of a washer so this uh, grommet here doesn't deflect. There we go. Perfect, that's not going anywhere. So in the heat of the day, the mosquitoes are not so bad once you get out of the shade. And it's nice to sit in there, but it's a little bit hotter in there. So I'm gonna move outside. I'm gonna build a little bit of a fire ring here. And uh, the, the gracious property owner here has lent me a little bit of a setup that he builds and invented uh, this, this uh, campfire thing. So we'll set that up. But in the meantime, I'll show you, I'm using this thermocell thing. This is, uh, relatively expensive compared to bug spray, but I find it just does a, such a better job. I've, I've not seen too many bad reviews on that. It's got its limits though. If you got a million mosquitoes around, you're, you're gonna get bitten. But uh, that's how I ended up getting a screen tent in the first place was I went somewhere very remote. This did not cut it. So what we're gonna do is uh, set that up uh, and cook a little bit of dinner and then uh, relax and fall asleep. Hey guys, this is the fire pit and the uh, campfire part here we're going to put in. Now I know if my boss is watching he's probably cringing that I don't have uh, goggles on and safety gear and all that but this is essentially what it is it just pounds in and it's got these little adjustment racks you go up or down with it it spins out of the way if you need to the whole thing has got to weigh less than 20 pounds for sure and that's what we're going to be cooking a little bit of lunch on and uh yeah it's really great he's uh he's been building these things for a bit on a little hiatus but uh, he should be up and running again i know people are probably going to ask where i got this from and where they can get one too so if you pm me uh when he's back up and running i could probably i could probably help get you set up with these neat little things because they're perfect size for car camping especially if you're off grid and you don't have an actual fire pit these these really do a great job all right, the part I cut out was I actually had to fashion uh, a lens to reflect the sunlight in order to start this fire. I'm kidding. I used uh, fire starter fluid, aka diesel. And uh, this will work great. Just look at this thing. It's perfect. But uh, it's still a bit hot out. Oh, but the smoke helps keep the mosquitoes away when I'm not in the tent, which is a little hot in the tent right now anyhow. So we're letting this boil down to some coals and then we'll cook a little bit of a meal here hey campers I'm out here with the uh, stove set up and the campfire in a beautiful creek in the middle of uh, seven pristine acres here what I'm gonna do is some quesadillas using canned chili and that's gonna work out quite okay uh, we got some cheese some sour cream for dipping so get started with this I don't want to burn these things too badly so got on the highest setting here throw a little bit of a tortilla down in the pan I think the best course of options here is to uh, throw the cheese down first so it kind of uh, 
melts and becomes uh, sticky enough for the chili to kind of seal this thing up. But I'm also going to throw a little more cheese on top because that's the way I do things in the bush. Can't have too much chili and cheese. So. That looks like a good start. Got my flipper. This is uh, from a jet boil kit. I don't own a jet boil because they're expensive stoves, but uh, they have really light utensils. So we get this started here. Once the cheese starts melting, I'll flip this guy over and that uh, should be a pretty generous uh, quesadilla. As a matter of fact, I'll throw a little more cheese on right now, indeed. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. So to be precautious, I put it on the, the top setting there, but it's really not doing a whole lot. So, I can uh, easily adjust this down a notch or two, and that's going to do a great job. All right, things are starting to melt up a little bit. I think I'm going to try and flip this guy. It doesn't fall apart in my hands, which it is, but done. I'll just flip flop it back and forth, get this chart up. That is more than a quesadilla. That's a, uh, that's a, taco holy moly so it's still gonna be good sour cream to dip it in and I'm glad I got plates because this is probably gonna be messy but it's definitely gonna be good hey everybody this uh, turned out good I really overloaded it but uh, better than underloaded I guess I'll tweak the uh, I'll tweak the quantities in the next one but uh, so we got just a little bit of a quesadilla here and I've got some uh, onions and tomatoes frying up for the next one, but what I have to do first is dig into this guy and uh, probably make a mess of myself here, but this turns out really good. You don't need to haul a whole bunch of uh, stuff with you as far as uh, bringing ground beef and all that to make the chili. I just use the, uh, hmm. I have a plate somewhere, <laughs> I'll be back in a sec. Alright, so this is going to be very messy and, uh, but very good I'm sure. Anyway. You could probably cook it better than this. It really smells good. And there's nothing wrong with these ingredients. I think it'll be just fine. So. Mm -hmm. Cheers, guys. That was really delicious food, and uh, I get to camp out right by the river. I can hear the owls hooting away already. So, time for this 
this coyote to hunker down for the night. And I got a little bit of a mummy bag here. Oh, this should keep me warm enough. <clears throat> and uh, see you guys in the morning.